in this video we want to take you through how to customize the setup of SpyRQ. The first thing to understand with SpyRQ is that all the graphics you see, any data tables you see, and the other parts of the analysis such as the risk analysis and also the injury reporting is 100% customizable. The way you customize SpyRQ is quite simple. In most sections, you have an actions menu over here on the right hand side. And the actions here relate to what you see in front of you and what you, what you can customize. In this example, I'm simply showing a single session report. And these are the actions that relate to this page. So initially here, I'm just on the graphs page and I can use the actions menu to customize the graphs that I see on this page. So I'll just click select graphs. And then you can see here, there's a number of graphs that are selected to be shown and then a number of other graphics relating to different variables in the system that, uh, that I'm not showing. So I can just select and unselect and rearrange the order of these graphics that, uh, that I'm showing, save those changes, and then my display will reflect the settings in this configuration section. For table customization, you can control any of the variables that are seen in these tables. You can control what the variables are called, and you can also control any of the formatting that's in the table here. If you need to change the structure of the table, so as an example, sorting first by position here before we sort by player, or adding another summary row such as a minimum or maximum, then just drop us an email at GP Sports and we will fix that up for you. To customize your table here, all you need to do is click on the Actions menu, select Configure this table, and then quite similar to the graphs view, you can go through this list of, uh, of metrics and display the variables and the variables in zones that you want to show here. So as just a straight example, you could show distance or high speed distance as a sum of, of distance in zones 4 through 6, or you could use the sum of zones you know, 5 through 6, or just zone 6 as being your high speed threshold. If you use this variable here, once you tick it, you get the chance to uh, to change the name. So if you wanted to call this uh, high speed running, for example, and you wanted to actually add your threshold, maybe that's above 60% of the individual's maximum speed, then you, you could change that label and that would display accordingly in the, uh, in the table. You can also add some formatting to this variable here. So this is about identifying outliers quickly and this sim simply allows you to apply apply formatting and then format your high marker here for example so you can format the top uh, the top 20 percent of scores and you can turn them a certain color and you can do likewise with the low marker in the session so you uh, once you assign your variables you again you can reorder those using the up and down arrows here of the selected metric and you can ensure that each of the data tables in SpyRQ reflects the uh, the variable names that you want to use and also the zoning that you'd like to use once I'm finished with that, I will just save my changes and move on to the next table. So each of the tables has its own unique configuration. So you just in the early stages, you just need to work through and configure each of those tables accordingly. With our risk alerts, and I won't go into it too much here, but it's explained more in the help section, that you can also configure the thresholds for your risk alerts using the configure risk alerts function here. And that's simply a matter of adjusting the thresholds. You also have the chance here to set the normative values. Normative values are used largely in your radar graphs. They allow you to compare today's sessions against your normative values, be they game values or training values. So you can work through any of your configuration of your normative values in this table. The other, th other thing you can do from this action menu is you can configure the principal reports. And these are essentially the PDF reports that you can generate for each session. So here you can see that I'm, I've got a name for my table here that's obviously customizable. Uh, and I'm electing to show two of the data tables from the interface and they will show on these PDF reports as they present in the uh, in the interface. And I'm also electing to show a number of graphics here. But realistically, you would show one to two data tables and, uh, and, and two to four graphics is usually enough on a printable report. The other thing I'm including in this report is I'm including my risk alerts. So this information would also present in the PDF report. Once I've made my changes, again, I simply say changes. That's the heart of the customization here. If, if you work through the actions menu in each of the analysis sections and also the dashboard, then uh, you'll be on your way to customizing SpyRQ.